Demetrius, why did you braid your hair? Because I'm having my weekly biracial identity crisis. I saw a fellow black man and I nodded to him as fellow black men do. I said, hmm, and you know what happened? He didn't nod back. I said to myself, let me get a protective hairstyle immediately so I can get some goddamn respect in my community. I swear, I just be like reading people's minds, right? So a long time ago, I made a video and undoubtedly it was about biracials getting black hairstyles, right? So um, I was talking about how most biracials don't have black people hair because, you know, biracials are not black. They're biracial. So most of them have biracial hair, a.k.a a mixture between white and black hair, right? And that being said, that ain't the proper hair type for black hairstyles, right? Yet you will notice that a lot of them will force black hairstyles into their hair anyway, even though that's not good for their hair type, they do that anyway, right? And I literally said they do that because they feel like it makes them more of a black person. Like they have to do that to be taken seriously because if they walk around with their hair straightened or whatever, you know, folks will take them, you know, even less seriously than they already do as black people, right? So, um... I said that, and then here we have biracial Brad literally saying that exact thing. Like, y'all be acting like I don't be knowing what I be talking about, but I do. First of all, can we live within reality? So this guy says that he's biracial. He has a black parent and a white parent, right? But I know good and well when he looks in the mirror, he knows good and well that he don't look like a mulatto. He looks like an Arab man, honestly, right? So let me put myself in that black man's shoes who he's talking about. So imagine I'm walking down the street and I see this guy who, you know, looks Arab. And then he gives me this strange ass nod because we all know that black people, we nod up. You know, you see a black person, you like, what's up, right? You don't nod down, okay? So imagine I'm walking down the street and I see this Arab guy and he gives me this weird ass samurai nod. Like, mm. I'd be like, huh? You know what I'm saying? I'd be, I'd be put off too. I'd be like, what the hell is going on? I'm sorry. That's just the reality. I'm sorry that you're having this biracial identity crisis or however he worded it. And I have said myself many times that I feel bad for biracials because you'll never fit in anywhere. You know, as mean as that sounds, you just, you don't fit in because you're not black. So you're not going to fit in with black people and you're not white. So you're not going to fit in with white people. You really are just stuck between a rock and a hard place. So like I've stated my damn self, I feel bad for biracials. And you know, when I see them going through crises like this, it's like, damn, you know, that's how you know black people and biracial people are not the same because I ain't never had to go through this crisis right so my thing is i feel bad for him and what he's going through but at the same time i'm gonna need him to you know like still live in reality okay uh you know in real life you look arab and then you nodded incorrectly any black person would be confused as hell if like if you came up to them and did that shit they'd be like who are you what are you doing like i'm sorry but that just you know that is just the way the cookie crumbles here so biracial Brad takes it upon himself to get a, you know, protective hairstyle as he put it, right? But then it raises the question of what exactly are you protecting? Because again, these are black people hairstyles that protect black people hair types. You don't have black people hair and I can tell by the way them braids is boneless as hell. You don't have black people hair. So what are you protecting? And again, I always say that I feel bad for biracials because of course they're half black, you know, of course. So it's like, of course, you know, you are entitled to a lot of aspects of black culture because you're half black, right? You know, if I had a biracial kid, which I wouldn't, but I'm speaking hypothetically, if I had a biracial kid, of course, I bring them to the Juneteenth celebrations and the cookouts and everything because that's my child, right? But at the same time, my child is not black. So I'm not about to force some braids in their hair knowing they don't have the right hair type for that. Like what? This is the thing, right? And this is not just, you know, concerning African-Americans. This is just culture, period, most culture is not explicitly taught. Nobody sits you down and says, this is how we do this, that, that, or this is why we do this, that, that with most culture. Now, there's definitely some stuff that, you know, is actually explained, but with stuff like this head nod, for example, with stuff like AAVE, nobody ever sits you down and tells you those things. You're just surrounded by them and you naturally pick them up, right? But this is the thing. Most biracials, they're not raised with their black calves. They're, they're always raised with their white or Asian or whatever, you know, non-black half, right? So none of them are ever surrounded by this blackness. They never pick it up. And that's why you can always tell that it's so studied and forced when they try to engage in it with you. 
There is no way in cotton picking hell that this man learned this head nod from African Americans. There's no way. Like if he was actually within any sort of African American community, he would not be nodding like this. Like, no. So clearly he learned this on YouTube or something, you know, watching some video about the significance of the, the head nod. What's up, my brother? I see you. Clearly he learned this on TikTok or something, right? He did not learn this in real life and you can tell by how awkwardly he executed it and this is the thing not all african americans grow up around other african americans there are african americans who grew up in the suburbs and are whitewashed right so they may be just as awkward as a biracial in this respect because you know the same reason they didn't grow up surrounded by this culture right but if i'm walking down the street and i see a you know a black person and they give me this awkward ass samurai nod at least i'm going to recognize this is a black person and they're attempting to you know like acknowledge me with the head nod they doing it wrong as hell look cuckoo but you know i'm going to recognize that as a black person and what they're trying to do right but since he does not look like a black person he just looked like what the hell like what is going on and sadly like i said a lot of biracials they're living in the land of delusion because they refuse to acknowledge the fact that they just don't look black a lot of y'all believe in the one drop rule. You've managed to convince yourself that blackness looks like absolutely anything. So you are legitimately confused when people don't recognize you as black. Like, look at this man. Clearly, this is not a black man. That don't even look like a black man in, in no space time continuum. No, right? Yet, he is legitimately confused when black people are confused by you know, his presence, his appearance. He he is really confused because a lot of y'all have really managed to pretend. You know, you've really managed to brainwash yourself into believing that blackness does not have a look. But, you know, y'all gonna have to step into reality at some point.